Okay, so what we're doing today is we're going to grab a really cool Cummins. So it's a really cool project. It's a custom thing. I think she's blue or something. They just did a five-speed swap on it or something like that. And we're hauling it to St. John's. So I'm not sure what we're going to talk about today, but that is what's going on right now. We're in Stephenville. We're going to pick this thing up. I have my best friend here. Worked with him before. Sandy. He's going to be helping us on this trip, so why don't you go ahead and take that truck off, huh? Drive something wide the trailer after the trailer. It is wide, it is super wide. Just floor it. Be gentle, try not to rock it back and forth too much. It's fine. Just this back thing here. I don't know why that is there, but we have we have the old Maxwells. Are you a good boy? Oh my gosh, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. All right, here it comes. Penny's already got it. I thought I was shipping that one. She's a nice truck, right? She is, yeah. This one's cool too. What is this? Uh, 12 valve five speed. 12 valve. That's what I thought. I just got that little little stack in her. She's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Holy shit. You have to admit that it's not good. You don't see these every day anymore. Huh? No. no. I didn't want to sell it, but he kind of bugged me there. And then <laughs> I had every intention of moving it up and stuff, but I got one there just like it. Yeah, I mean, how many do you need, right? Yeah. So. It doesn't drive, but. Uh, this truck, that's the heaviest truck I've ever had on the trailer. Yeah. Like, by far, too, I think. That's like a regular truck, like, not like a freight liner or anything like that, just for a regular Ford, Chevy, or Dodge. By far the heaviest. I don't know what they got put in that thing. So we ended up having to drive last night, so it was super dark. Didn't feel like trying to get stuff on film because we have today. Hopefully today is a better day. We made it in and we are going to be offloading this truck first, the red one. We're here at some sort of a nickel mine. So yeah, let's get at it. Should be nothing to it. And then the next stop, I think it's like 45 minutes away, we're going to drop off that Cummins and oh, we're going to have some fun today. You'll be checking out a six liter. So. Let's go. Alright, it looks like today is gonna be a nasty day. Not good. Need to look at the truck. So we're pretty much in St. John's now. Real honest, I don't know exactly where I am. Um, uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head in. We drop off this Cummins, and it's actually that guy who we're dropping this Cummins off to that owns the six seater. We're gonna be looking at. Let's do that. Food. Get. So now we're just waiting on the guy's word to go pick up or to go drop off that truck and uh, go look at the new six liter, so that's pretty cool. Super excited, gonna hear that thing run one more time and uh, hopefully the six liter turns out to be a good truck. All right. He's gonna roll it out. Man, she's gorgeous. I'm here, nice cold start, so.
Cruise Trail 6 liter? Okay, yeah. so the Cummins won't start, so we're gonna boost her off of this beautiful right here. Dude, I've never seen a truck with no blow by before. I don't know if it's good or bad. We're gonna find out before this video goes up, but there's no blow by, and I've never seen that before. driving scares you a little bit. <laughs> well, other than the, the tune and the bulletproof, what kind of modifications are there? That's pretty much it. Just He's going stock into it. Yeah, just wheels and tires. You can get the muff around. Who, yeah. do, who does that? Who can muff around a truck? Right? Yeah. I bought it off uh, an older guy. He just used it for uh, really? he had a little uh, excavator. Okay. Just towed that around. Then you yeah, you can chuck your hands off the wheel. Not in this wind, not in this turn, not with a truck like that. Uh -huh. bad <laughs> These trucks are nice, they don't make enough power so that they're dangerous to themselves, right? That they can... That's like, why I only put a This is what, like, like 300 horsepower probably? If yeah, that. I don't think it's much. That's why I only put a light tune on it. Yeah. Well, four-wheel drives are nice for you. Dude, she's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask them about the blow-by thing. This is the first diesel I've seen with no, with like zero blow-by. Yep. There's something. A little breath even like that one new i checked the blow on it new and it's gushing out right like brand new it's fun eight kilometers on it just leave the truck in the middle of the street it's fun i guess <laughs> Line. These guys will not turn down any job <laughs> no matter how busy they are i've heard of these guys too like i and by any job i mean like it doesn't matter what it is, they know how to fix it. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, wow. So what do you think of her? That's better. That's better? No, man, that's a 6.4. That's garbage. Okay. Sorry for you 6.4 owners, but I am right. These are not the most fixable, reliable trucks. But god damn, they really look good. Do that in my trucks. Like that's fun. <laughs> Too cold. Made the decision, 
We are getting the six liter. It's official. We are buying a six liter with cash. What is this? <laughs> All right, let's see it. Let's see what a six liter in a paper bag looks like. This is it. This is it. Take it out of the bag. Do it. Take it out of the bag right slow, too. Pull it out so slowly. Is that it? No, there's more. There's more. You know, there's more. Holy. What is going on? This is so extra. Guys, it is day two of, uh, we just saw the truck yesterday, the six liter, and now that it's daytime, because I wanted you guys to be able to see, we're gonna grab her, we're gonna pick it up and look at a trailer for sale too. It's a bit nicer inside today. Max, ready to go. Like we're gonna be grabbing the trailer as well, I think, if it checks out. Um, yeah, check this out. Guys. Check this out. I was thinking like on the way home, she's gonna suffer with like two trucks on the trailer. Like I don't think they're full size. One doesn't even motor, but. So you're telling two on this on the way back? I think so, yeah. You think it'll fit? Yeah, it'll fit too, yeah. Yeah. All right, we officially own a six liter with an engine light. Super clean, I'll make a proper video about it. For now, we gotta go get rid of this trailer and get some more equipment. Get some straps and chains and whatnot. And the seatbelt light. All right, guys, so to answer some questions, this came up, he said he was selling it. I wanted to look at it. The truck is super clean. So yeah, he's actually a customer of mine. I dropped uh, a truck off for him, and this thing just, just, it was just gorgeous. The paint is good, no exhaust smoke, no there's nothing wrong with it. This truck is pretty much perfect. It's the best six liter I've ever seen. Always wanted a six liter, so here we are. It's for the company. I'm not gonna be driving this one, so you guys aren't gonna see this truck as much as I would like you to. Um, and maybe you'll see it just as much as the other trucks, who knows. Um, for now, the F-350 is still the main truck. But yeah, we definitely, we are definitely gonna have some fun with this one. Not gonna do anything crazy with it, gonna take care of this. The thing with the six liters are they're great trucks if they're bulletproof, but you can't push them too hard because once you push them too hard, you're gonna start you're gonna start ruining things, right? If you take care of it, it'll take care of you kind of thing. So I figured if I was ever gonna buy a six liter, this is the one to get. So here we are. Put her into a haul mode. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! All right. So yeah, so I was going to get him to drive it at first, but uh, I'm not used to not having the shifter here. I want the shifter. You have to put one in aftermarket. So, hey, we got a backhoe to pick up today, and this truck's going to be taking two trucks across the province, across the island, I should say, not the province. It is a merge. I don't know if this thing's going to be able to merge. It was much more fun getting on this thing when, uh, when it wasn't mine. And now I'm afraid. Oh, dare I say it, this truck is much more comfortable than than the new one, than the 2017. This is so comfy. Oh man, I gotta do a video comparing the two trucks. This one has some advantages, I must say. Okay, perfect. So, we gotta grab the backhoe. That's the thing we gotta do now. Seven way. Yeah. Yeah, you have no emission system on this one. You don't have to worry about DEF, and you don't have to worry about the, the diesel exhaust until they're screwed up on you.
That's what we're doing now in the six liters. We're going to pick up its first load. Um, not its first load ever, but the first load with us. Um, we're going to grab two trucks. One has a motor, I think one doesn't. Uh, we're going to test out to see how the trailer does, and we're going to see what this thing has. So I'd say it's going to be, the trailer's about 7,000 pounds, and the two trucks, I'd say combined, are going to be uh, 9,000 pounds. So nice little load for it, little load starting off. It's not going to be bad. got everything loaded up it's friggin nighttime now I didn't want it to be nighttime but it's nighttime this is an awesome truck you could totally do a lot of work with one of these now I don't think I would but this one's bulletproof it's probably a very solid truck it's pretty comfortable around 17 psi let's get her back up to speed here see it's not the fastest rig in the world but getting her done there's a lot of wind resistance this trailer and it's load and stuff it's a pair of Alright, we've done about 20 kilometers now from that place we stopped. What I'm basically doing is trying to catch up with the 6 liter. Um, we're doing about 110 here, fully loaded, of course. We're towing pretty close to the max rated weight of this truck. And uh, yeah, that 6 liter is friggin' hauling it. We caught up, we've been driving for like half an hour now and he is nowhere in sight. That, that truck, I tell you, that truck, you, you don't need a brand new truck. I mean, get a six liter with a bolt prick of something in good shape. It's a bolt strategy, so I guess we're gonna have to see if it pays off. We're about 120 kilometers in. Still haven't caught up to him. I've been averaging about 100. I called him, he said he's averaging 90. I don't know what's going on. That six liter is hauling some butt, some serious butt. Six liter can haul, like I'm looking like a kilometer down the road, still don't see him. And I mean, I left, I gave him like a minute and a half head start. That thing, it's working. That that truck, that truck's hauling. It might not have the numbers that the 6.7 has, but uh, I tell you, anyone that says that that truck can't work, that truck can't pull, very wrong. It's only got like a 70 horsepower tune on it. Like it's nothing, nothing huge, just EJ lead bulletproof and yes, yeah, just a, a simple tune, so. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. I've been, I've been driving the uh, this truck a bit harder than I usually do. Um, usually, like to keep it around 10 pounds of boost, but I've been leaving it at 20 just to pick up that speed and not standing a chance. So you can notice by the six liters that uh, it has trouble maintaining 20 pounds of boost. Like 20 pounds of boost is quite a bit of throttle for it. Uh, the same thing as my F250, my older 6.7. That one, 20 pounds of boost is pretty close to full throttle. Um, this one 20 pounds is like half throttle. It's like normal. Very strong trucks. But yeah, I mean, you push that six liter a bit harder, oh yeah, she'll, she'll run with the boys. She'll run with the big dogs. Or little dogs if you want to call us that because we have little trucks. All right, thank you. Didn't make a Tim stop. So guys, that is it. We ended up with the six liter and uh, I could not catch up to it on the way back home. Um, that, that was it. That's the end of the video. Guys, I'll be making more content with it. Let me know what you want to see uh, because there's a lot going on. I'll have to prioritize some stuff. So let me know what you guys want to see with it. I'm going to do some towing with it, obviously. But yeah, super clean truck. Super happy with it so far. And I'm glad I got to sh take you guys along. So guys, if you enjoyed this, as always, you know what to do. I'm not going to tell you. Instagram is Danger Industries. Go follow that if you want. I don't post much there, but I should, and I might. But uh, yeah, you guys, you guys have a good day.